and I don't mean backwards. Your first weapon is the Pelum. This is a short-range weapon, very heavy, deadly, brilliantly designed. A rain of these would come down on the front ranks of the enemy, and if he was unarmored, he'd be dead. If he had just a weak shield, this point would break through it, and the metal shaft would continue through and pin the man behind it. If he had a heavy shield, well, this point would stick in the wood, and this shaft was designed to bend on impact, making the shield completely useless. This wasn't a defensive weapon to hold an enemy off. It was a vicious, aggressive tool for killing. The Pelum was just to soften them up. The Roman Legion was a machine with 5,000 blades, and the Gladius was the blade. It's unusual to be able to hold a weapon in your hand and know that this changed the world. And it's so simple. Why this weapon when the Romans had so many other choices? I'll show you. With a long sword, you need lots of room to be able to wield it effectively, which is hopeless for formation fighting. You could use a shield with it, but the shield had to be small and held in one hand. And most importantly, wielding this can be very, very tiring. Now there is an alternative, the falcata. And this was used by the Greeks and the Spanish Celts. It's extremely heavy and very effective. Step forward. But in close combat, you had only one real stroke with this, the downward chop. And every time you raise it to make your attack, he'd stab you. Now, the gladius. Step forward. The Romans knew how to cut with this weapon to clear an opponent's blade or to attack the head, the shoulders or the arm. But they also knew this was a complete waste of time. This weapon is designed for thrusting. Here I am tucked in behind my shield. I can push forwards but it's very hard to push me back in this position and my gladius is at the level of his stomach. If I stab forwards, I'll hit him in the guts, in the testicles or the femoral artery at the top of the thigh. There's just a chance that he may parry my incoming thrust. Then I stab upwards to the throat, the face or the eyes. It's almost impossible to avoid at this range because the crucial thing about this attack is speed. You use your arm like a piston. Stab, 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 stab! It's completely simple, absolutely brutal and you will practice it repeatedly.